In this video we're going to learn how to set up Worm Unlimited so it will download server-side content. This is required for many of the server mods on Mythmore. Let's get started. The tool that we need to download is called the Client Mod Launcher. I have the Client Mod Launcher on my wiki page which is at freth.us slash player. If you click on how to install mods and scroll down to manually install mods you'll find the very first item is the client mod launcher. There is a link to the forum post, the GitHub, and a direct download for the file, which is linked directly to the GitHub. So once we download the file, we can then extract it using something like WinRAR or 7-Zip, or we can use Windows Explorer to copy the files where we need them to be. And that's what we're going to do, use Window Explorer. So let's go ahead and do that. I will open the folder where the file is. I will right click on the file, select Open With and Windows Explorer. This opens the zip file as if it were a folder. We can press Control A to select all, Control C to copy, then we need to go into the worm launcher folder. To do that, we just open up Steam, go to the library, right click on Worm Unlimited, manage, browse local files, and then we just go to the Worm Unlimited folder that it pops up, go into the worm launcher folder, and here we can hit Control V as in Victor to paste, and that will paste the files into the worm launcher folder. Once that's done, we need to run the patcher.bat, which is a batch file. It opens up a DOS window, and we're looking for the client is now patched message. If we get something different, then there is an error because we put the files in the wrong place. We can hit enter to continue, which closes the window. And now the game is patched so that it will download server-side content. Now that we have the client mod launcher installed, we can go ahead and start installing client mods, which will greatly enhance the functionality of the game. To install mods, the procedure is the same as installing the client mod launcher. Let's take a look at the live map mod so that we can understand what I'm talking about. If we open up the live map mod, which I'll do now, find it here, I'll just double click it. If we open it up, we notice it has a mods folder. And because it has a mods folder, when you go to either copy it or extract it into the worm launcher folder, let me pull up the worm launcher folder. Because it has a mods folder, it will just go ahead and throw the files in where they need to be. If it didn't have a mods folder, it would create a new one and throw the files in where they need to be that are underneath it. So if you have a mod zip file that doesn't have a mods folder and you go to copy or extract those files into the worm launcher folder, they're just going to go in here, right here. You'll have the extra folder in here, but it won't be under the mods folder. And here, let me show you how that works. I'll use the uh, I'll use WinRAR to extract, so I'll just extract this to the Worm Launcher folder. This one will go into the Mods folder because it has a Mods folder. Let's extract the Cave Vision one. Let me pull that one up. We'll do the same thing, Worm Launcher folder. Now watch what happened. Notice that our live map went into the appropriate folder, but Cave Vision went into the Worm Launcher folder as I just specified because the Cave Vision zip does not have a mods folder. And it's the same thing with copying. If you were to copy that into the Worm Launcher folder, it would turn out the same way. So these need to go in to the mods folder. So what I did is I just hit, 
I selected them, hit Control X to cut them, and then I went into the demands folder and I Control V to paste. So now we have Live Map and Cave Vision in our um, mods folder, and we can go back into the Worm Launcher folder and patch again now that we have those in there. Notice that it said that it patched, and we can go ahead and press Enter and close that window. Now we can load up Worm and see if it worked. Now remember I installed Live Map and Cave Vision. Wait for everything to load up. Okay, there's our Live Map. And you can see that it's moving. Now let's check out Cave Vision. It should make everything bright inside the cave. So I need to wait for this to catch up to me. And yes, it's full bright inside the cave. As you can see, installing mods is fairly straightforward as long as you keep in mind that mods always go in the mods folder. And certain zip files are not zipped up the same way and certain zip files don't have the mods folder. So you have to put the files inside the mods folder instead of the worm launcher folder. Hopefully that makes sense. See you on the next one.